Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. This is Red Horse Beer. Red Horse Beer. From the bakers, they give you San Miguel and all you ex Navy folk. Do, do, do. Remember that stuff? West Coast or East Coast. And the headache, it left you. Because it's fermented with. Oh, God. God, you're crazy. All right, I'm not crazy. This is, from, this is from a brewery called San Miguel, and it's in the Philippines, and it was established in 1890, and I, had a, I have a friend, he's still living in, he said during the Vietnam War, they used to drink a lot of San Miguel, it's just real inexpensive over there in Vietnam. What? I know what I'm talking about, it's fermented, or it was fermented, formaldehyde. It sounds like a urban legend. Okay, what color is this? Not red. Golden. Golden. Let's see if there's anything else on the bottle. Uh, it says, experience that distinctive, full flavor taste of a world class premium beer. Uh huh. Uh, 8% alcohol. It smells like sand. Yeah. And there is um, some code that's meaningless, doesn't make any sense. Okay, put it back there. So what's the APV on this? Eight. For export. Now in the Philippines it's six point eight. Six point eight percent alcohol? Yeah. But it's lower in the Philippines. They only sell it outside the country at eight. According to the website, according to the so, bottle. Yes. This smells like San Miguel beer. <laughs> I first experienced San Miguel beer a long time ago. You know what that word means in English? You're going to tell us. St. Michael. St. Michael. Okay. San Miguel, St. Michael. And it was an experience to drink because in my younger days, uh, being overseas, we uh, wanted to try those things rather than the import of Michelob's that were sent our way. So it does have that San Miguel smell to it. But once you drink it, no. it's like Heineken. And you remember the smell. They were telling me look for the smiling horse because they said the smiling horse is different than the regular. They put a smiling horse in every few batches. That is just a regular horse. How are we supposed to know? But well, somebody was telling me that on the internet, telling me, uh, yeah, and the smiling horse is jacked up with a. Uh, like brandy or something. I'm like, I don't think that's true. <laughs> and he's like, well, yeah, everybody in the Philippines knows about that. I said, okay. But this bottle is just regular. Okay, it's 8%. Smell like just, you know. It smells like San Miguel. Strong lager. If you ever had San Miguel, this is what it smells like. I've had it. San Miguel Pilsen. And they, I've had San Miguel Dark. And the light too. They used to sell it around here. Well, actually, the store I bought this at had San Miguel. Smell like grain, you know. It's grain, but it has its own unique flavor to it. Now, I'm not getting that formaldehyde off of it like I got when I had this in Europe. I'm glad. It just tastes like regular beer to me. It tastes like regular beer, but it doesn't smell like regular beer. It smells like San Miguel. It just has like, you know, barley, like say a cracker, um, or white bread. The bitterness is practically none. Let's say one out of five hop cones, and that's pushing it. Sweetness, really not that sweet. Some no. of these high gravities can be sweet. Now the alcohol in this is hit. Sweetness, two out of five sugar cubes. Alcohol is hitting, you mean like you feel it, or it taste it. It's hidden. Oh, it's hidden. I thought you said it's hidden. Right. No, it's hidden. Oh, yeah, it is hidden. Yeah. Doesn't seem like it's eight. No. If you drink a hurricane high gravity, it seems like it's eight. Yes. And that's only 8.1. Just a tick above this. Medium body. We'll see about the finish. It tastes better than it smells. And that's because I had a negative effect on San Miguel's. Dry finish. Like people have negative effects with tequila. They're like, oh, I can't drink that. They're like flashbacks. There is a problem with the bottle size that I take issue with, but 
Well, it's the old 333 at 11.2. Yeah. And don't even ask about the price. I paid a fortune for this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's six bucks. Well, it wasn't that much for the single, but I bought a six pack. It was fifteen ninety nine for the six pack. Well, I guess you're paying for the. It's import. an obscure beer that you're not getting here. The alcohol content is high. Uh, it tastes good. It's well put together. Uh, it's got a weird smell to me because of past experiences with San Miguel. Uh, but I think it's enjoyable. I mean. It does have its own unique character, like a Heineken would. It's very barley smelling, crackly, like you said. And then there's something else that's going on with it that makes it, it makes it its own unique beer. So to to you, it does not taste like American Eight Percenters. No. You kidding? These people are perfecting beer in a different way. No, I wasn't kidding. It's good. Um, ready to grade it? Yeah. Okay. You first. I think it's a very enjoyable beer. Uh, the last time I bought this was 11 years ago. I saw one bottle in a cooler in uh, Florida City, Florida, way at the very bottom of Florida. And I said, let me buy it. It was like $2.99 for a bottle, you know. But I figured, what the heck, I'm never going to see it again. Right. And it took me 11 years to see it again. Uh, <clears throat> I thought it was really good back then. It seemed like it, they've improved it, though. So I think I was like an A- minus back then. I'm going to go with A now, 93. 93 out of 100. Most excellent. I'm going to give it a solid A. I'm going to jump, jump here a few points. Uh, even though it's bringing back uh, unpleasant smells, uh, the taste profile is really good. The alcohol is hidden. I think it's well balanced. I like the way uh, you can smell the barley cracker note. And that other little thing that makes it San Miguel is in there too. Um, so I'm gonna give us a 95. I think 95. it's a very good beer. It's a very good beer. Maybe I'll have to. Joke. Maybe I will have to revisit San Miguel because they had the San Miguel six packs over there. I don't know if they had the dark or the light. So I had San Miguel. In Europe, which is different than the same Miguel we would get here. I'm pretty sure the alcohol content was the same. Like I said, it's ferment, formaldehyde. That's what I was told. So by a maniac. No, I don't know. By several maniacs. And and uh, I know in Europe, I think San Miguel's contract brewed in Spain. And if anyone is in Spain. viewing this video and experienced the same. San Miguel schooling, per se, while they were in Europe in the old USN. Please chime in and, and make, a, make a comment because this one thinks I'm lying. Wait a minute. I said in Europe it's contract brewed in Spain, I'm pretty sure. Now look what this bottle says. <laughs> Expertly brewed and packaged under the supervision of San Miguel Brewery, Philippines by San Miguel Beer, quote unquote, Thailand, and Path Thani, Thailand. Wait, did you say Pith? Path? Pith? No, Path Thani, Thailand. Pathum? Pithum. So we got a contract brewed beer. This is from Thailand. This is a Filipino beer made in Thailand. What's going on around here? Oh, it's a heavy bottle too. Oh yeah, it's not one of these American shatter bottles. This thing would not, if you hit somebody, it would not shatter. Don't use that mm -hmm. as a weapon. Mm -hmm. Just throw it away. All right, or recycle it. All right, so an A beer, most excellent. We average into a 94 out of 100. <clears throat> we got the Thailand produced one, which shocked me. But what can you do? And we're going to... Better beers, kids. Yeah, we're going to end this review by saying y'all go to Pathum Thani, Thailand and tour the whatever brewery that is. <laughs> yeah, enjoy that travel.